Well, the anticipation is over, and now the big day is here. It's the final of the UEFA Europa League. I'm Derek Ray, and as always on these big occasions, I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England... ...fullback Lee Dixon. We're on the cusp of kickoff. It's Aarhus, and they face Armenia Bielefeld. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams have the added advantage, so if they win this competition, a Champions League place is available. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. The delivery towards the back post. And they deal with the threat this time. Fruitful looking at... And he's broken free! Goodness me, what was going through his mind there? Well, his brain said one thing and his feet did another. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, he gives you all sorts, every attribute in the book, but one of his biggest ones is his strength. Just when you think you've got him cornered, he pushes his way out. He must finish! Just found wanting in terms of the finish, then. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Yabo. Cordova. Now well, they've lost the ball. going to end up being productive for them still on level terms moving the ball nicely Diabo Larsen Hartel well high marks for that pass crossing possibilities and they've won possession again And a throw-in it's going to be. Larsen. Reinhold Diabo. Precise ball movement. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Mortensen, not a good pass. He's lost it. Hartel, Cordova. Close on the ball. 
Just not looking confident in possession. Moving into the advanced position. He's just got to continue his run. Powerful enough, but not precise enough. No, not accurate enough at all. He had other options on as well. Cordova. It is to be a throw-in. Nikolai Paulsen. Made it a bit too easy for his opponent. Can he put them in front? And a goal! The first of the contest! Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. Well, we've got a better angle of it here. He was aiming pretty high. Goalkeeper, no chance when you go that high in the net. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? The opening goal of the game, then. Rietl. Close on the ball. They've won back possession. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Well, possession seeded. Making progress. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. That is that for the first half here. Sports to the game.
And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always by Lee Dixon. And on the menu, an appetising dish, a Conmebol Libertadores first group stage game. It's Tajeres de Córdoba, and they face Barcelona. Well, thanks, Derek. This tournament means so much to the fans in South America, and it means so much to these two clubs as well. I'm sure they'll be both eager to have a strong start in this group and move towards securing their spot in the knockout rounds. And so the match is underway. Not showing good vision. Moving forward effectively. Fed over towards the back post. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here we can take another look at it. You've got to ask questions about the keeper's positioning. That's half of his job. You can put the best keeper in the world wrong side of the goal he won't save anything so the match has restarted 1-0 here Well, it's terrific to have the Copa Libertadores group stage finally underway. The biggest club competition here in South America with a rich history going back to the 60s. Lee, always a pleasure to be here commentating with you. But most importantly, who do you fancy to go all the way? Well, probably one of the sides from Argentina or Brazil, to be honest. They've been so dominant over the last few decades and it's hard to see past one of those powerhouses. Hopefully, we're proven wrong and there's maybe a few upsets along the way, Derek. to dispossess your opponent. Diaz. But he could run onto it here. Corner kick forthcoming. Over it comes. And the pass, a good one. Corner coming up. And firing it into the area. Well, unable to bend his run offside. Diaz. Well, let's see if something comes of this. And the ruling is offside here. And 
across the byline. A goal kick as a result. Molina. Mina. Real danger. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Thumps clear. Mendes. No let up in the pressing department. Can he find the net? A really high quality save. Well, it's all about concentration. Goalkeepers can go so long without doing anything. Look at that stretch. And over comes the corner. And he's in an offside position. Pochettino. Good pass, and the emphasis is on creativity. Can they get in behind them? This could level it. Oh, he's missed it. He'll be kicking himself. Well, he might have nightmares tonight when he watches that one back. Looked easy, but what do I know? I'm a fullback. The hosts have had the lion's share of possession, but they have to create more, they have to be more positive. The final third play has been slow, too predictable. And taking it away. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, he's been a long way from his best up front, Lee. Yeah, he struggled to get the ball.
And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League. The group stage, match day one action. It's Wolfsberger at say against Atletico Madrid. Well, cheers, Derek. These home fans are going to enjoy this. They surely must. With the team coming as big as this to your club, make sure you don't let yourselves down. Don't let those fans down. Don't let your families down. Really, really give it everything you've got. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. Well, perfectly understandable that Luis Suarez might strike fear on the opposing defenders late. Yeah, he scores goals, Derek. And that's what you want from the player. The top end of your pitch. Get the ball, put the ball in the net. It's a simple job, really. So the corner played into the box. And strongly fisted away. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? Lamar. Opportunity it is. Can he convert? And it's come off the keeper. Juventus. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, he was so sharp, the goalkeeper there, wasn't he? What a wonderful save. Suarez. Uh, potential danger. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here. Well, let's see that again. I don't want to look at it as a former defender. I've scored a few of these in my time, and they were always my fault. Got blamed for all of them. Important the players pick him up from here on in. Well, that own goal has put them behind. Well, he's given us away. Offside, close one. Lovely first touch, that wasn't easy. Michael Novak. Now they're on the scent of something positive. And it crossed the byline, a goal kick as a result. Suarez really nice ball can he keep his composure deary me a golden chance missed it might come back to haunt him well you learn the script time and time again and he's now just gone and fluffed his lines Suarez on a pretty ordinary challenge and a wonderful save all types of save keepers make but that's really important look how close the striker gets Oh, he knows that could have been the game right there. You can see his frustration as well. Now, how about the short corner? That's a useful cross. 
And the danger is averted. Well, it's a constant struggle for them to get out of their own half. Atletico are struggling for possession, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. A lot of momentum to this Atletico attack. Teammate in support. And able to close down the shots. Takes aim! Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. They won't complain about having won the corner. And maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. They favoured a short one here. Dangerous ball. A very effective clearance. Joao Felix. And here's Versalco. What a vital intervention. One block after another. Teammate available. Keeper did his job to begin with. And the keeper has custody of the ball, but just a few seconds beforehand, he had a big save to make. Well, keep hold of it. Have a breather, because that first save deserves us all to look at him and clap. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. And with that, the attack fizzles out. What can they do from here? Well, he knows the defensive side of the game so well, Savic. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Luis Suarez normally fully committed and totally wired in, but how about in this game, Lee? Well, with the team winning, the school report says must do better. He's not done enough in this first half. Needs to improve, needs more energy, needs a lot more...